Hey guys, Mick here. Thank you for coming to watch this video. Today, I have a very highly requested video for you. We are doing, if I can get it out of here, a Zaful, Zaful, Zaful? Zaful. Zaful haul? Comment down below if you know the pronunciation. I don't even know if you can comment a pronunciation. Anyways, we're doing a haul on this really cheap swimwear brand that I see everywhere on social media. I'm wearing one of the tops right now. So the last time that I tried Zaful, <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, it was probably about two years ago and the bathing suit was just like not that great of quality. Being a curvier, thicker girl, Yadi, you okay? Yeah, the dog's okay. Being a curvier, thicker girl, it's really difficult for me to fit into these brands that only have small, mediums, and larges. The thing is, is that you can't buy different a different top size and you can't buy a different bottom size. You have to get the same size when you purchase the bathing suit. Yachty, give me one second. The dog needs let out. So I guess that makes it easier that I just bought all larges because two years ago I was bigger than I am now and I couldn't even fit into a large. Like I was, my body was pouring out of it. My boobs were pouring out of it. And even in this, I was literally just walking down the stairs setting up this camera situation and my boob fell out. So it looks cute. That's why I have it on right now, but it's not for like walking, running around. It's just not good material for human things. Good for pictures, maybe not so good for swimming, like a bathing suit is for. Uh, maybe good for laying out, but I don't know if you want these tan lines. Just keep that in mind when we go into this video. So I'm gonna go ahead and first start off with talking about the packaging. The packaging is just like I remember it from being a couple years ago, but one bathing suit had a different kind of plastic packaging than the rest. So inconsistent packaging, although I don't really care, I, I just know that some of you may care. Secondly, I noticed right away, I got two tube tops, um, one maroon and one army green, and the maroon tube top had the it was kind of like a plastic bar to hold the tube top from like folding over. I think you guys know what I mean. And then the other one, the army green one did not have that. So same tube tops, just same material, same everything except for that one minor difference, which I thought was inconsistent. So two inconsistencies right off the bat. Before I go into sizing and showing you guys the bathing suits, go ahead and click that subscribe button and go ahead and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. Social media, Mick Zazon. Um, and yeah, let's just get into the video. Rewind. Something fell off, so I had to go back to my order on my computer. And there are three bathing suits missing. Four, wait. Four bathing suits are missing. And it said all of it was delivered. Inconsistency number three. Inconsistency number four. I'm gonna show you guys on the screen, but these bathing suits that I'm holding up right here are supposed to be the same color. They are different colors. In fact, I'm pretty sure that I got the same colors in both of these so that I could try to mix and match the tops and the bottoms, but I guess that's not happening. I'm gonna go into showing you guys the bathing suits that I did get with an open mind because I did like some of the pieces. So let me get into that. Let's first start with the Cami Underwire High Cut Bikini Set in Chestnut Red. Of course, it's a large and it runs for $17.99. So right away, 
I think I told you guys already, as I was running down the stairs, just walking down the stairs actually, in the in this bathing suit, my boob fell out of it. So it just shows that it looks cute, but it's not for real life pool life. You know what I mean? Secondly, I also want to say that the bra cups, the padding, feel they, they just feel weird. Um, it feels like it's trying to force my boob into being a certain shape, but my boob is not that shape. So I'm probably going to end up taking the uh, boob pads out because it makes them look weird. Weird. You guys can see that like my boob is literally like almost falling out straight on. It looks fine. Falling out. For the bottoms, I don't know if I would call these high cut. I'm really, really, really hiking these up to the tops of my hips. I will say that there is a thicker lining around the top inseam so that it's supposedly supposed to keep them up above your hips. But like I said, if you're running around like you do at the pool, if you're swimming, these things are going to fall down. Um, I don't even know if I would be able to size down in the bottoms, even though it kind of feels like it, but I just really feel like a smaller size I just would not fit in. Although this is an aesthetic bathing suit, I don't know if I would recommend you guys getting it. I do love the color. I like the style. So maybe I'm going to go to a different store and try to find a style that I can, you know, buy one size bottoms and another size top. Next up we have the high-waisted bandeau bikini set in chestnut large. Maybe I should have looked at the title and the color of it a little bit closer because now that I'm seeing this was chestnut red and this is just chestnut. So it looks the same in pictures but it's not the same in person and they do have a different colored name. So this was the bathing suit that has the wiring on the sides to make sure that it doesn't flop over, the top doesn't flop over. I do not like the fit of this top. Again, a large. I probably would feel more comfortable in a small, in a bandeau top, which is exactly why I would love for Zaful, 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 whatever the hell it's called, to let us buy one size top and another size bottom. Um, that being said, the bottoms are great. Like they are pretty damn on point when it comes to high waisted. Um, they have a fuller coverage in the back, which is great for, you know, family events. Um, and you being able to run around at the pool. I don't have any complaints with the bottoms, just the top. This next one is the newspaper lace-up bandeau bikini set in multi-A, whatever that means. Probably means the color, um, and it's a large, and it runs for $17.99. I forgot to mention the other one's price, so it is $15.85. Weird pricing. This bandeau top is so much better than the other one that I just reviewed. It does have the plastic, not plastic, underwire is the word that I was looking for this whole entire time. It has the underwire, not under the boob area, but on the sides to make sure that it doesn't fold over. My favorite part about this top is that it has a corset tie in the back so you can customize your level of tightness, which I am here for. Um, that way I don't have to worry about, you know, my boobs falling out. I don't have to worry about anything because I can customize it the way that I want. The bottoms are pretty darn great too, but honestly, I have no complaints. Fits great. Um, it may or may not stay on me as I'm walking and running or swimming. I'll just have to keep it, you know, riding high on my hips. Other than that, I love this bathing suit. Um, I love the pattern. I think it's super unique. Next up, we have this bad boy. 
I was really, really, really excited for this, you guys. I was so, so excited. I was like, yes, this is gonna be great for pictures, for whatever, for just being cute on the beach. And then I tried it on and it looks like this. This one's called the Plunging Backless Swimsuit in bright orange. It runs for $18.99. Right away, you can see that there is a huge gap in the back of the bathing suit. Um, it just all around does not fit. It does not fit my boobs. It doesn't do anything for my shape. I don't even know if this would look good on anyone, really. All in all, do not buy this one. So this next bathing suit, I don't like the top, but oh my gosh. The bottoms of this suit I am living for. The crossover on the material in the front gives me that extra oomph and oomph. I mean, like it draws more attention to my waist rather than the fact that I am a pretty athletic person. So curves are something that I try to accentuate rather than just looking like a block. So that is great. The coverage is medium. I am just living for these bathing suit bottoms. Like, I don't know if I have any complaints whatsoever. The pattern is, again, super unique. I'm not typically drawn to patterns like this, but I was trying it. I was really, really trying it and turned out to be a success. You'll find me in my Instagram posts wearing these bottoms. The top is just a no-go for me. Too big. Um, the bra cups are trying to just make my boobs look different than they are. And I'm honestly just going to probably donate this because it's just not working for me. And then I would show you the other bathing suits that I got for this specific haul, but apparently they didn't send them to me. So I guess the only thing that I have to say is make sure you keep your receipt. Make sure the colors, if you're trying to mix and match, are the same because they look the same on the website. And lastly, you're going to get what you pay for. I do know companies that sell bathing suits as cheap as this. For instance, Airy has some of my favorite bathing suits and the quality is fantastic. But Zafol, Zafol, Zafol? whatever it's called, is just not a great option if you're looking for the quality of a bathing suit. You can get it to get a great picture by the beach, by the pool, whatever, but you're not gonna be able to swim in it. And the shipping time sucks. You're always gonna want to buy expedited shipping like I did. Thank you guys for watching. This was a painful try on haul. I'm actually super disappointed. Thank you guys so much and make sure and hit that subscribe button. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter and I will see you guys in the next one. And let me know your experiences with Zayful hauls. And if you have any other companies and swimwear lines that you want me to review, comment them down below. I'm open. I love doing these for you because I know that a lot of you guys relate to my body type. That's it guys. See ya.